that as well, probably. Um, any other questions? I'm just getting into this. One of the things that, that I really didn't see was anything with like authentication and securing your web app. It seems all secure. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I do. I personally do. Um, no, but uh, that, that is something that I personally have been working on for now. And uh, the, the, way, the way that I am designing it for, um, for, um, um, for work is sort of basically using a couple of things. Using um, session data and uh, um, a hash key, which is sort of generated by a server saying that's what you use for every transaction you make on the front end of the back end. And that's, uh, that's, that's sort of uh, how I'm designing it to start off the things, to start things off with. Are you afraid of yourself? There's nothing you found that's already done. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's something already out there but that you can do in Angular and JavaScript authentication. Um, the passport library. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I use Passport on a number of projects. For okay. Is that Angular specific or just, no? No. And the other thing is, um, I think in distributed systems, which the web is one, you <coughs> Angular is a client side framework, mm -hmm. and you don't there there can be things that assist you in creating this, but ultimately you don't trust your client. Do not put you know don't trust Angular to ensure you know that the user is authenticated and so on. So. I think it's more widgets. You yeah, might find. That, that, that would be more of the job of your server, rather, the server side. Um, your RESTful backend to authenticate every transaction because that's where your database is. Um. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, you could just like open up, uh, say, Postman and uh, send, you know, who knows what to the, uh, the RESTful backend. Yeah. Right, but if you use Passport, they have, they have, I mean, there's a built-in function for it that just is authenticated. If you run things through that, they won't be able to have any access yeah. unless they're authenticated. It's a no crosser. Well, yeah, that's no. It's, so, it's, so, it's, so it's, 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 it's for testing RESTful services. There's like a handful of this is actually testing for us. So, so. Maybe maybe we should have a talk on uh, tertiary tertiary libraries with like Angular and you know we've covered Angular now like talk about tertiary libraries for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, um, yeah, I think that's that's the main thing. Yeah. Um, we have the talk right now. Yep, we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, well, thank you so much for listening to me. Just a uh, side note: this was my first technical talk ever.
Um, and then also the uh, tech breakfast. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. But yeah. yeah, so uh, if you're interested in just coming out and hanging out, enjoying some breakfast, uh, real laid back on Wednesday mornings, we're getting together over at Grumpy's over in Tremont, so it's a pretty centralized place to downtown. Um, yeah, just hop online, let us know you're coming, that way we don't overwhelm the place if a bunch of people decide to influx in, but we've had some good crowds. Larry always gets some good discussion going and posts some good books recently that we talked about, so. Cool. All right, well guys, have a great night. Thanks for coming out. Stay warm. Enjoy the ride home.